Okay, so today's tutorial is this holes with these maggots coming out of them. I will warn you that this video has very shitty lighting. So the first thing you're going to need is the gelatin solution and then you're going to want to place this on your head wherever you want. To give this more texture, I just literally placed toilet paper on top of my head and then kept reapplying the gelatin and then toilet paper and gelatin and toilet paper until I got a thickness that I wanted. My advice with using the gelatin is if you're going to put it anywhere near your hair then put some Vaseline over the top because it is quite hard to get out. We are then going to cut off the excess toilet paper. I also then decided to rip it to give it more texturized and irritated sort of look. You're then going to want to get gelatin and put this around the edge and smooth it out so it actually looks like it's coming out of your skin instead of just being placed there. Then literally getting anything that makes holes, so I used my end of the brushes, you're going to want to swivel it into the toilet paper to make the holes. You're also going to want to make sure that the toilet paper is very wet so it's easier to do. You're also, if you are using brushes, going to want to use all different sort of size brushes so it gives all different sort of size holes. Now going in with some translucent powder, you're going to want to pat this onto the toilet paper and all around your face just so it doesn't look as shiny. Now on camera mine is still going to look shiny and that is because I have shit lighting as I said before. You're then going to want to place your normal foundation on top of them so it actually looks like it's coming out of the skin. But if it doesn't cover completely and still looks a bit white then that doesn't really matter because we're going to cover it later. the new BYS FX white foundation and just place this around because I just thought people like this would sort of look a bit white and thick. Then going in with the brush end again I added some more holes and also put some translucent powder to set it. Then going in with some black eyeshadow we're just going to put this on the dots just to give it a bit more depth. Now going in with the pink, I'm just going to add this around the black dots because I would presume having holes in your face would make your skin pretty irritated. Then going in with a mixture of pinks and browns, I'm going to put this on the edge of the toilet paper because I would still presume that your skin's going to be pretty irritated. And then going in with a blue or purple, you're going to want to do the exact same thing just to add bruising. Now you're going to want to be really messy with this because best bruising is sort of messy bruising. As you can see, I'm sort of tapping instead of smudging. This is just going to create more messy bruising. Now going in with a gel eyeliner, I'm going to put these in the dots just to give them more depth because I thought they needed to be a bit more blacker than what they were. I'm going to use a brown and just put this over my eyes because I thought I'd just add a little bit of glam to this. And then did a winged eyeliner with some liquid eyeliner and brought it all the way into the corner of my eye and down a bit. Now using the blood that's in the description below, I placed a little bit in the circles and gently tapped it around where the grey and blue bruising are just because I thought why not. Off 
camera, I thought that this didn't look gross enough, so I added some maggots using some pieces of rice from my kitchen, and it looked fantastic. So here is the look with the maggots. I really like this look, and I am really sorry for the shitty lighting, but like and subscribe for more SFX videos.